the fact that you clicked this video. I'm assuming you're interested in knowing how to create a realistic body mockup, 360 turntable animation, and an aesthetically pleasing work animation for your clothing design. This video is beginner friendly so anybody can follow through. Now let's get into it. To get started, you need a software called Clo 3D. So go ahead to download and install Clo 3D onto your computer. Once you've installed Clo 3D onto your computer, open up the program and you will see a view like this. Now to start making the mockups, you need a mockup template. You can go down in the link in the description to download a hoodie mockup template. Once you've downloaded that, open it up and you will see a view like this. Now to navigate this 3D view, use the middle scroll button to zoom in and out and use the right click to rotate around. That's for the 3D view. And quickly come up to display 2D information and show pattern name. That way you can see the pattern name and what you're working with. Before we start adding graphics and logos and everything else, first I would like to change the color of the UDI, right? So to change the UDI color, come up to the object browser section and here you can change the colors of anything you want basically. So I'll start with the body color and come down to the open texture editor and disable the ether gray texture unless you're making an ether gray color okay close and now i can desaturate and change the color to anything i want which is black i'll do the same thing to the waistband I also like to change the uh, kangaroo pocket color to black oh. and finally the hood so you can basically change it to any color you want any color of your choice but in this case I'll be using black, black. and once you have that done you would notice the thread the thread of the UDI is still gray, right? So to change the thread color, head over to the top stitch, click the thread color, and now you can change the thread color to any color of your choice. Uh, for this video, I'll be using a deep gray color. Once you've changed the color of the UDI to the color of your choice, you can start adding the logo, your logos and graphics. So to add your logos and graphics, head over to the graphics section and now open the folder in which you have all your logos and graphics and now you can drag and drop your graphics into the program. So basically I'm just dragging and dropping as usual. these and finally this so once you've added your graph logos and graphics to the program to add your graphics onto the hoodie all you need to do again is drag and drop Now once you drop the logo on the pattern, you would notice uh, you would notice the graphics reflect in the 3D view. So now I would like to scale this up. Like so also I would like to add this to the back. Finally, 
I would like to add something to the sleeves. So once you have a, a logo like this, you can actually change the color of the logo by clicking on the graphics and pressing desaturate. Once you desaturate, it will change the logo from any color it is to a white logo. So now you can choose any color of your choice. I also like to keep it white though. I will do the same thing for the left sleeve. Let's desaturate and change the color to any color, basically. To get back into a effect front pose like this, press two on the keyboard, two, and you will come to a perfect pose like this. So now I'll just zoom in a little bit and now we can start making the uh, the mock-up pictures. Now to make the mock-up pictures, press render, render and here press interactive render. So basically here we will see a feel of what the mock-up will look like. So this is the preview of what the mock-up will end up looking like, the pictures. Now quickly to improve this uh, mock-up, I would like to change the lighting. So the default lighting is this lighting, right? This is the default lighting. Now to improve the lighting, press uh, this, uh, just click this and my favorite lighting setup is the swimming pool. So once you select the swimming pool, now you can select uh, the colors you want, the tint colors you would like on your final pictures. So once you've selected your tint color and you're okay with the lighting, now you can go ahead to make the mock-up pictures. So to make the mock-up pictures, click on the click on this, and here I would like to change. I'll change this to turntable image. The image count to eight, and rotation angle 360. And this is the default image size that uh, we use on our templates, all our templates. And you can choose to use a background, right? So to use the background, turn off transparency, if it's on, turn it off, and you can select the background color of your choice. And if you prefer not to use background, you can just select transparency and there will be no background also you need to set your project name uh, you can you can you need to set your file name you can use the project name which is this or you can use a custom name right in this case I would like to use the project name and also you can select the file path in which you would like to save your mockup so once you've selected all this and also the image format, use PNG. And one more thing, so if you have a GPU, for example, you have an NVIDIA or AMD GPU, click on the render properties and change the render engine from CPU to GPU. That way you're able to render your mockup faster. Now once you have all this uh, done, now you can make the pictures by pressing final render. So once you click final render, it will make all the pictures. Guys, here is the result of what we just did. 
Here is the result of all the mock-up pictures. Now let's make a 360 turntable animation. Now before we do that quickly, I would like to show you guys that you can also add your neck label, your neck label to the neck label pattern. To, to go back to a perfect view, front view and zoom in. Go back to render and now to make the 360 animation, I would first go to the image or video properties, change the image, uh, change the image count to 360 and once you select that, click on interactive render just to see a preview of what we've been doing of, of what we are doing. So click image count use 360 and direction should be counterclockwise. And also you want to select save video. That way it saves your animation. And when you select save video, you have no choice but to use background. Unless you're good at compositing software, then you can go ahead to disable the video and render the images as sequential images, then composite them in a software like Premiere Pro later. So if you don't know how to do that, I would advise to select save video and change the background color to something uh, to your preferred background. Once you have all this selected, you can go ahead to press this stop render and make the 360 turntable animation by pressing final render. So this should take about uh, an hour to two hours depending on how powerful your computer is, right? And here is the result. Uh, so this is the 360 animation. Now the next thing I'll be showing you is how to create a work animation. Now to make the work animation, make sure to save your project. Once you save your project, now add to the uh, folder you downloaded from our website and open up the work animation. So once you open up the work animation, you will see something like this. So first, use a text texture editor and also disable the lines. So once you have the work, uh, the work animation file open, repeat the same process we did on the on the mockup template by changing the colors and everything else because I'll be skipping through that process. Now once you've changed the color and added your graphics on the work animation file, now you can go ahead to click render, render and here I would like to preview by pressing the interactive render. And now I'll come down to the image of the editors. So here you need to, uh, although the file already comes with you know the settings for the animation, and the image or video properties should be set to animation. The region should be play region, and also you need to select save video. Can choose your background color to anything you want. Now, before we make the final render, right? I would first like to see if my animation works. So, what you need to do is come up to the simulation, uh, head over to this bar, click on the simulation, 
and change it to animation press ok and i would like to play the animation to see if it works play So this is the animation. Now I would like to go back, go to start, and then change this from animation to simulation. Now go up to render, render again, and now I can render my animation. Again, this will take about an hour to complete, depending on how powerful the computer is. And also make sure to check the render engine settings before you start rendering the final work animation and once you have that done congratulations now you can take your brand to the next level using our mock-up template so make sure to like and subscribe thank you